What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode we check out Los Frailes and we get our sailing on for the first time ever. Yay! This is the Motorhome Experiment. Good morning everybody. We're here in Los Arbolitos still, but it's time to go. And we're doing an early departure because we need to see if we can get unstuck. Well, we're not stuck, just out of that. And that guy there said that it will be fine. So, let's see if that's true. Well, he made it seem easier than I thought it would be. I saw a lot of people getting stuck here yesterday. Time to go, I guess. All right, that was much easier than I thought, actually. Everybody was getting stuck yesterday. Two-wheel drives, four-wheel drives, but I think they just try to get out too fast rather than just easing their way out, so that was really easy. Even Lori got out perfectly fine in her car, which is a good thing, really. Just bad for video. Sorry, we'll have to get some disaster later on in another video. Today's not over yet. Today's just getting started, so maybe disaster awaits. All right, we've got the car hooked back up. Now it's time to start down a little bit of a washboardy road to Los Frailes. I think we're only going 10 clicks today, so yeah. maybe maybe six miles. It's not that far. All right, we've scouted the beach area out here and I'm not totally thrilled with going in here the area is a little dirty but it's not even that it's just that the sand seems a little soupy in area so we're just gonna give it a shot see what happens well getting out here was pretty easy so hopefully getting back out of here in a couple of days will be equally as easy We'll see. So, hello everybody. Sorry for the look, but we're boondocking, so we've been snorkeling, no shower today. Ocean water. But Ozzy and I, Ozzy, look at look at him right here. Ozzy and I were working, enjoying the ocean. But of course, Paul had to go and help these people out. If you don't know Paul, Paul is the nicest person ever. So some people got stuck in their car and they are driving an SUV like a Tahoe or a Suburban and they got stuck and he went to basically help them to get unstuck but in all that process I actually noticed he also got stuck for a little bit <laughs> I think he's out they're all helping each other but yeah pretty sandy here I have to say but see at least somebody's not worried right here right Ozzy you're having a good day Good morning. We are out here at Los Frailes. You can see the RV there on the other side of the boat. And we're heading over here to the mountain area. There's supposed to be some great snorkeling and the sea lion colony. Are you ready for this, Lori? Yes, I'm excited. Awesome. Let's do this. Another beautiful day. You can hear the barking. I don't know if you can. You were able to see the tour boats, but we're getting already to the sea lion colony and people come to snorkel with them. I don't know if I will snorkel with them. Not sure about that, maybe. But we're getting close. You can hear them already. There's a lot of people in the water. <laughs> Check the boats. They're awful close to those sea lions. I don't know if that's a, a good thing or not. A little bit closer now here, Lori. Yeah, look at this. They're so cute. And yeah, so, they're... And so intimidating at the same time. Yeah. Like big dogs that can bite you. Exactly. <laughs> 
Lori and I were gonna tie the kayak up to one of these rocks, but look at that. All the crabs, man. I definitely don't want to get crabs in the, in the kayak. That is definitely not. I don't see any under us. I wonder if I'm just good there. All right, we are back out trying to give the snorkeling another shot because earlier we uh, tried to dock over here a little bit and the waves kind of hammered us a little bit and Lori hurt her knee. So we had to come back after she rested a little bit and now we're gonna give it another shot. Let's try it. Today's gonna be a little bit different than usual. We are here in Los Frailes still, and we were supposed to head Out to today. San Jose del Cabo today. And it's a we order a Frailes Uber. Yeah, Uber is here. This is what Uber looks like in Los Frailes. Today, we're going out on a boat. Not that <laughs> boat, it's taking us to a bigger boat. Yes. This is Sebastian. Yeah. This isn't the boat we're going on today. That's the boat. Good morning. Your guests are here. Sebastian has dropped us off on his boat. He's going to get some more crew. This is his girlfriend. His girlfriend or wife? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. This is his girlfriend, Lori, and Lori. So the folks on those boats are coming out with us as well. So he's going over there to pick up more crew. We don't know if we're ever gonna get back to shore, actually, they haven't really promised us that. They just said they were taking us out. There was no mention of us coming back in, so we don't know what's happening, really. Still working on Lori on the boat thing, so that's why we're coming out here. I'm enjoying this, but still not there <laughs> to make the change. So. <laughs> more of the crew. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Captain, do we need like safety instructions, uh, uh, life vests? No, you um, can just take a seat and relax. All right. No life vests necessary. All right. We do have them on board. All right. Because they are required by the Coast Guard. Cool. See, look at that. He said that on a camera. They're required by the Coast Guard, so they are here. Yes, so are here. don't freak out that we're not wearing life vests. But yeah, no, we're, we're good. Cool. The exits are there, there, yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> This whole trip is selling Lori on doing a sailboat. So these guys have all been paid to sell her on the on the boat. So, <laughs> so this is yeah, that's dedicated to Lori. They're literally explaining all the safety aspect of it. So. <laughs> Oh, 
2020. Okay, Laurie, say goodbye to Freya. It's probably the last time we're gonna see her. I know, I think they're kidnapping us. No. So, just sit right back and you hear the tale, the tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. Do whatever. The crew is free to walk. Ding. The lights came on. We're free to walk around the cockpit, the cabin. Come check out the front. It's awesome to sit right here and watch the bow of the boat just cut through the water. It's where the dolphins come. Okay. Old Sebastian here has got got his poles in the water. Got a couple there. A couple over there. Fishing for supper. Daniel just brought up that there's no vegetables in the ocean, so <laughs> Lori and I are pretty much screwed. Picked up a floating watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna try some fresh fish today? Let's see if he can catch any. Yeah. He's been he's been pretty successful over the last few days. This is pretty cool. All right, Laurie, what are your thoughts so far? Pretty amazing, I have to say. Sailing is pretty badass, but... <laughs> it's so bad. Oh. We've got, <laughs> we're getting shot by Sebastian. <laughs> Want to thank Sebastian and Lori for allowing us to come out on the boat. And then of course our other new friends, yeah. Ken for hanging out and Antoinette and, and Sebastian Daniel. Sebastian is trying to actually, yeah. more like, more not convince Paul, but convince me it's like that this is awesome and safe and everything. And I actually so far love it. I don't know what camera to look at. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, okay. thank you very much, man, for allowing us to come out on the boat. <laughs> when uh, when's dinner coming? Uh, uh, young soon, Kadiyan? soon. I, I hope that we hear. Wait a second, over here. Oh yeah, you recorded that. Yeah, he's, 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 he's recording. The little That's bird. live. I got the GoPro down. <laughs> hey, on guys, you're very welcome. Everybody's welcome aboard. <laughs> And I'm really, really glad to share this with you guys. Sharing is part of why we do this. Ah, it's awesome. The more people we can get crazy about sailing, the more of us will be out there. Cool. So how much are you going to charge us for a month if we come out on the boat with you? Oh, Lauren told me about that. <laughs> and, uh, and apparently it's, uh, it's illegal to sell anything in Mexico, but it's legal uh, to trade shells. Oh, okay. So, so we could trade shells with you. We're going to trade right. some shells. All and right. Some we're going to work something out. All right, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome proposition. I'll let you guys keep All going. All right. You. <laughs> so not anytime soon, but it's not out of the question. Well, 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 we'll see, we'll see. It's like RV people, don't be scared. It's like we're still RVing. Yeah, we're still RVing for the, he's, for the he's near future anyways. He's trying to convince me. That's what he's doing. <laughs> no, but this is awesome. Just to see like the whales and just be in the water. There's something soothing about it if you don't get seasick. Otherwise, it's the opposite. <laughs> well, I, I don't get seasick ever, so I don't know. How are you feeling? Uh, I had my ginger tea this morning, oh, so I'm feeling pretty okay. good. All right, cool. It's like cool, cool. we came here actually last night, guys, uh, to have a few drinks, uh, and it's totally different feeling at night because you don't have like a point of reference where to look at. It's actually just pitch black and you're just feeling the wobbly, so that was different. Yeah, yeah, but it is beautiful out here today. Yes. What we're about to do here is the jibe. So we're gonna swing the sails around and head back the other direction. And a jibe is different than a tack because we're, we're casting the winds from the back of the boat instead of from the forward of the boat. We're going to do the but on these multi hauls, it's a lot easier to do a jibe than a tack. No, no, no. It's gonna go the other way. Hold it. And the main's gonna shift. The main's shifted. Now let go of that one there. Uh, 
Well, there was no drama in that. Nobody got hit by the boom. Nobody oh, fell off the no, boat. No, no. Sebastian, you're supposed to help us with some drama for the channel. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna try that again, but hit Ken in the head with it when it comes across. No injuries. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> my first time. So we're almost back from our day of sailing. We're on autopilot right now, check this thing out. I'm definitely, definitely, look, nobody needs now to steer. I'm definitely getting one of those for the RV. That'll come in really handy. Just can kick back at the dinette, get some work done while we're going down the road. Perfect. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? We're almost back in to the beach. We have to make a quick little Z maneuver if we're gonna continue to use the wind, so that's what we're doing now. But the sailing guys are doing their sailing thing. <laughs> their sailing thing. Ah, their camera thing. There we are. <laughs> back natural. Act natural. Act natural. <laughs> <laughs> Child. All right, we've got a couple or maybe three whales out here in front of us. We're gonna try and chase them down a little bit. Not easy to do in a sailboat, but they're giving it a shot, so we're gonna see what happens. Should be right out in there. You're gonna be this potters. What's that? We're gonna be this potters. Okay. Supposedly they do three, or at least the gray whales do three. You can steer into the wind, Jim. Are they really? Yeah, they're behind us, behind us, behind us, right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, right under the surface. Coming up. Come on, whale! Yep. <laughs> Sebastian's reeling in the whale right now. We think he's got him on the line. That's the whale! That's the whale! Oh, that's oh, both the nibble. It's very close. Yeah. We're, we're kidding. He's not reeling in the whale. He's kidding. Let's clarify. Right there. Whales are not for fishing. Whales are not for fishing. Whales are my friends. Fish are not food. Fish are not food. They are our friends. Control yourself, Mike. Control yourself. Sebastian, do the well top right now. Nora, where are you? <laughs> Come on, baby, whale. Where are you? Eleven o'clock. Yeah, but that means it's going down for a while. Oh no! Holy smokes! There's several. All right, Lori, she's turned into a whale watching cruise now. Twelve o'clock. And here comes the tail. Yeah, that's a big whale. Holy smokes. Woo. And then there's a smaller one off to the left, yeah. Oh, there's the big one. It's it's a probably looks like a juvenile maybe. That one there is a that thing's huge. And down deep. Oh my goodness.
We made it back, Laurie. We did. They brought us back. Fun but sad moment. <laughs> <laughs> Another successful sale. Yeah. We didn't Shanghai you guys. No. We are leaving the boat. We're heading back to the RV. Is a boat in our future? Maybe. Not anytime soon, so don't freak out. Sebastian, these guys are like, see you next summer. I'm gonna be your your broker. Boat. I'm gonna be your broker. <laughs> We're going to La Paz to look at boats. Who are we kidding? <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you guys, that was awesome. That, that was, was pretty awesome. fun, yeah. The whales was awesome. Oh, the whales oh were incredible. God, we didn't get in camera, there was the little one actually bridge and came out of the water. Yeah, so I did not get much on camera, that's for sure. The best moments are hard to get. Yeah, oh, absolutely. That's the thing about traveling. Sometimes you find the nicest people that they will do the nicest things for you, like taking, out sail taking you out sailing. Yeah, absolutely incredible. What a great day. It was great. But uh, now we have to get back, and as we always say, we got to get some work done. <laughs> Not well. That's your saying. Yeah. Okay. Get some work done. <laughs> See, and that's also, I guess, the nice thing about being a little bit flexible with your schedule that you're not so planned out that you get to. We're supposed to leave today, and actually, we're leaving tomorrow. Yep. We were able to do this today. I'm hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> what are you cooking? Uh, same thing I cooked last night. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> All pressure on me. So Los Frailes, when we first got there, was kind of like a little bit of, eh. The yeah, when we got there, the, the, I guess the downside is that you have that little like huts that are there. They're yeah, abandoned. Yeah, the little abandoned. And I guess it's like, huts. the huts are like for the fishermen in the summertime. So in the wintertime they don't use them, they're abandoned. And in the summertime they come and they use them as a shade. So that was kind of like a little bit weird, but once you get past that, oh my God, it's so beautiful. One side is sandy and so fine sand. The other side is snorkely, like the rocky side, plus the sailing. Oh my God, quite the experience. Yeah, the, those folks uh, pulled up on the beach and they needed some supplies. So we ran them down into Cabo Pomo to grab some supplies and then they invited us out on the sailboat. So it was yeah. an absolute blast. The first time either one of us had been on a sailboat. When it we when it's on been, the ocean. I would just say we've been on sailboats but not really sailing like the tours that you pay to take you out that but they usually motor out. So this is the first time we actually gone out sailing, actual sailing. Yeah, left the dock with the with the sails up. Exactly. So very, very cool, but uh, great experience all all in all. Sold on the boat yet? No. Not quite sold on the <laughs> boat yet. So not yet. With that being said, this is where we'll end this one. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means they have to. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, and it would be equally as cool if you liked the video. And we'll see you again in the next one. Bye, right, guys. And then we'll talk about why this is, we're in this noisy, oceany spot here, back on the Pacific. <laughs> Great boondocking spot, and we'll show it in a future video. Check this out. <laughs>